Hey, so how to install Olympix app? So here is the app. Um, yeah, you just go to the app store and then tap get. Um, it's size one, 271 megabytes. You need to confirm with your touch ID or face ID or password. And then you can just see all the highlights. You can see the schedule. You can see the some articles, publications, overviews, venues. And I think you can also see like uh, uh, medals, scores, so which country has the most uh, wins and medals and all of that. So it's the one app uh, which is just updated for every Olympic uh, Games. So it can be this Olympics or next Olympics. I'm not sure if it's only for summer Olympics or it's also for uh, winter ones. And it's also the app for Paralympic Games as well. So let's see if it's loading. So as you can see, it's quite heavy app. Then you need to tap to continue. You need to accept. Then here is just Apple settings. You can choose either to track or not to track. Uh, then uh, you just need to select the team you are supporting here. So for example, just select and then you need to select your uh, favorite uh, sports uh, and all of that so just you can enable notifications you can also enable uh, a notif to be notified about ticket information and all of that. You can skip. Mm, so yeah, here you can also try to create an account, but it is pos also possible to see the app mm, without an account and here you will see all the live blocks so for example you just just can see that Djokovic was eliminated from the tennis tournament which is quite big news uh, you can see all the featured content you can see all the highlights these are just like the articles I'm not sure if there are like videos here. So just an overview, then you can just see schedule. So which is super cool. So for example, for today, you can see all the sports and when to see them. You can, yeah. Um, of course, I think the time is in the, in the Tokyo time, which can be like 13 hours or so ahead of United or like behind of United States so if I go here like what will happen so yeah you can just see the schedule and the timings of the live kind of in the live blog format uh, Then, of course, you can see all the medals, medal standings. So, for example, you can see that China is the first now, USA is the third, Japan second. Uh, you can see the latest news, latest videos. Uh, and here you will just see this general uh, just highlights. Um, so you won't see the full live translation, but probably you will see just like the highlights of the top events, which can be enough. Uh, but of course, if you want to see the live schedule streaming, you need to go to your national country channel and because there are like official broadcasters in each country. 
here in the top you can switch to Paralympic Games. You, again, you can see all the schedule and results. Uh, you can see all the athletes here. So for example, you can just go and you can see all the like country of birth, like events and results, all the ranking, all the schedule. Uh, and then you can see all the highlights, all the information. So if you are a fan of specific athlete or specific team, you can just uh, follow them here. So that's super cool. Ceremonies, opening, closing ceremonies. Then you can also see here um, all the venues. So if you are in Tokyo right now and you are enjoying these games, you can just see all the venues and where to go, how to navigate through that. So that's cool. And then you can just log in uh, to have your account here. But I don't know if it's like um, Olympic ID or maybe it's just an account for everyone. So that's that. So that's the app basically. Uh, super cool, just in one place, one easy app to follow all the highlights from Olympics because even if you are watching uh, on your channel, there are just some cuts from different events and you can't just watch everything all together. So mm, therefore, it, this is a nice place to uh, Yeah, there is also something like fan zone for which you will need an account. Uh, maybe these are just some like tests and there is also something like world lands, which I don't know what that is actually. So yeah, this is just some funny game, I guess. So try it out as well. So a really cool app actually. And of course, uh, of course you can follow your country, you can follow your sports. Here you can get, uh, yeah. So if you want to go to your sports, for example, if you're following athletics, uh, You can just, yeah, you can just organize this app that you are following all the uh, top sports in your area. So that's basically it. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful.